God gives you a message. Don't you hold that message back. Preach. Don't let Brother Danny get in the way. If God gives you something, Brother Danny have to hold his peace. That's just the way it is. Holy Ghost is right here, Brother Danny. Holy Ghost, it moves on you. You you do whatever it moves on you to do. Now, if he would obey the prophet, he would never have to die, would he? But you know what he did? He got it in his own heart. He's going to do it anyway. Huh? Children, I thought about wait upon the Lord. Uh, <laughs> I like what Brother Thomas said. I don't want to take one step to think somebody, the Lord's moving on me when he's not. God don't move on. He's still just four students on right on. If he don't move today, don't worry about it. He knows what we need. Uh, when we meet the condition, uh, do you believe there's conditions in this? When we meet the condition, God will move. Uh, so don't get worried because God ain't blessing you and you ain't running around the house all night. When you meet a condition, you see God. Every time I've saw him, he's been there for me. If there's any failure, it's in me. It's not in the Lord today. You're looking at the failure. We're glad the Lord. Tammy, I'm going to give you a chance to testify. He's been so good to me. I thank him because he stood by me so many times. I thank him for letting me. all my kids except one be out here today. And a lot of my grandkids, I, there was a lot of them here, most of my kids. I thank the Lord for that. I just thank him for another day. I thank you for everything. I pray for me. Daniel, I just thank the Lord for being here that he gave me another year with my mom. Another holiday. And you know what? Got to looking back in the back and the whole side was filled up with my mom's kids and her grandkids and our friend Jenny and Kenneth and his girlfriend and I thought how wonderful it was when we got down to pray if all of us could have got down and prayed together. Yes. I know there's nothing like the Lord, you know, when you give your heart to Him. And I, I just want you to pray for Kenneth. I know he's got so many things ahead of him, but if he'd give in to God, he wouldn't have so many. He's the greatest, greatest joy you can ever have. And I just want your prayers. And I just thank the Lord for watching over me another year, another day. Yeah. God, how many people's had problems? How many people has been put on death row? How many people have been put on death row? And the only one in heaven is still on. Yeah, amen. The old one. I'm so kind of sad at anybody here today. The rest of my family, you know, they told me so much that they'd be out. But I know the Lord knows all. He sure does. He knows that I pray for him, that I love him. He sure does, And I just want him to come to church. That's all I want. Like, the Jesus was saying, I would love to be down there with my mom and dad praying and my sister.
somebody else. Sandy, did you testify? Danny, I just thank God for the resurrection. I want to be a part of that resurrection when the Lord returns. And I'm so thankful for all that He did. And I know that the enemy sometimes tries to make things look so dark. During the time of the crucifixion, it must have seemed like such a time of darkness for all concerned. But God knew that light and life was just around the corner. And I just thank the Lord for life and life abundantly because of Him. Yeah, amen. I want to say this. Them babies are probably getting patient. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine they are. So is everybody happy? Yeah. If they are, I want us all to 